Hey guys, it's Tracy from Country Charm by Tracy. Today I'm sharing how I painted this clipboard for teacher appreciation. I will share how I hand painted this and how I created the adorable little bow. So let's get started. I used the crackle technique to paint the clipboard. If you would like to see how I created this, go ahead and click on the card here at the top of the video. I just hand drew an apple pattern, cut it out of cardstock, and then I traced it onto my clipboard. The Americana colors I'm using is Santa Red for the apple and Holly Green for the leaves. For the stem of the apple, I am using Espresso Brown by Americana. To get the coverage that I wanted, I had to do four coats of each color. So now I'm going to be doing some white highlighting and I love to do this because it just really adds what the colors that I like for my projects. And so I'm going to get some white paint, I need some clean water, and so I just have like a little cup that I can dip my brush into and then I use a paper towel. And so. I always use a flat brush to do my shading and so I dip half of the brush in paint, half of the brush in water and then I blend it on the paper towel. And so then I go around like this just adding, uh, you know, loading my brush again, dipping it in water, kind of blending it and then go around the project. like to shade around the outside of the apple so I will use a milk chocolate brown and using the same technique by loading half of my brush with paint and then dipping the other half in water and blending it on a paper towel. This is how I get the desired look that uh, I like to do for my projects. The country girl in me loves checkerboard and so using a smaller flat head brush I am going to put a checkerboard around this entire clipboard.
I love to highlight with white and then highlight with black. It's just a personal preference. So I'm using the same flat head paintbrush, dipping half of my paintbrush in paint, the other half in water, and blending it on a paper towel. And then I will go around the project again, just giving it little highlights of black. Here is where you can personalize it, uh, but I am just choosing to write ABC and one, two, three. Once that paint is dry, I will take uh, the brown and I will shade around the letters and also around the entire board. So around that entire checkerboard. To doodle it up even more, I will use my ultra fine Sharpie marker, go around the outside, and then also I will go around the apple because that will give it just a little more definition. Here are the ribbons I'm going to use for my bow. The red and white stripe is from Hobby Lobby. Black and white is from Michaels. And the solid red window pane is from a wholesale company, but I've seen it over at Craft Outlet. I'm going to add some felt pads to the back of the project because if you're going to hang it on a door or in a classroom, you don't want it to, it protects the surface uh, and it doesn't scratch the wall and 
This is really good for those Dollar Tree felt pads. Once you figure out where you want to put your bow, I put it at the top. I just uh, attach that using that Chanel stem. And then now I'm using Stiffen Quick, which is a ribbon stiffener, and just spraying it on those uh, red and white stripe ribbons that are a little flimsy. This really stiffens up the ribbons. To hang it, I used a school day's ribbon. It is a thin ribbon. I hot glued on the back of the board, reinforced it with a few more of those felt pads. Those work great. And hey, you can personalize this. You can put anything you want on it. The possibilities are endless. Use your Cricut to cut out some vinyl and uh, personalize with the teacher's name. That would be so cute. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. And I love to read your comments. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I would love to have you. And uh, we will talk to you soon. And God bless.